freeze and maybe I won't kill you. Hiya, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you too. Don't move a muscle. Come on, listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Shit. Ah. Oh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. What can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem, because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally, we don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right, we'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out, I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three! Go fuck yourself! Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay, let's get you over to El Greco. Uh, you need a hand? I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Uh. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked at... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh, guys is already here. Uh, Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk uh, again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood. Uh, all the death. Uh, uh, this is the uh, lifestyle you choose. Uh, one day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could be you. Uh, and off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes, but you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito, thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. Hey, I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in, then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? 
Right, right, it's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attack them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good, not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno, that's none of your business. Ah, uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I know a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father. Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Carlo wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? No. Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. Mr. Scaletta, can you get in, please? Hey, old man, what are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are? This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on here? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead, half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead, and now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown, that was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. You called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. Do us all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him, too. One, uh, one thing, though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Yeah, all right. Here you go.
Well, look who it is. This is where they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? Joe, you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouched for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey. If you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito. Let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked On about, three. Joe? You're gonna throw One. all that away? Do it! Two. You know something, Carlo? For the last ten years, all I've done was kill. I killed for my country. I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one... This one's for me. Fuck. You. Fucking prick. I sure as hell hope you know what you're doing here. Don't worry, I took care of it. You'll see. So, uh, what was he talking about back there? Nothing. He made me an offer, that's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. What kind of offer? He wanted me to whack you. Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah? So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right, then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on. Let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. All right. So what's the big secret? Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. 